Hey guys, bringing you another video with your boy Weird Demo here, bringing you that video about the blimp and a few other topics. Let's get into it. I don't, I don't know where to start. I mean, I can talk about how great the blimp is. No, let's talk about how great the blimp is. The blimp is fucking fantastic. It's it's like a giant dick. It's like that dick I just want to just move around and fly and just blow up shit with. It's just shooting out sperm that is also pretty explosive. Capture the objective. I mean, if you really look at it, it's easy to get kills with this damn thing. Like it is to get a girl pregnant real quickly and easily. I'm talking about pretty damn easy. Now, with the blimp, you have to also look at this as if uh, this is like a baby. Nice, gentle baby, but without arms or legs and it's nurturing it's actually pretty fucking destructive the blimp is one of three vehicles that you can use that are i would say labeled as heavy class i mean really heavy class there is the blimp also named the behemoth there is the train and there is the dreadnought which honestly with a name like a dreadnought you think it would be intimidating but it's actually not it can be easily taken out a lot quicker than the behemoth now out of the three the behemoth is my favorite because it's the easiest to get kills with and it's the most fun now it is slow it is clunky and it is a little bit annoying to control but when you just a pilot and you just drop in mortars to defend the objective so your team can come in there that is great it's really great now the key thing about the behemoth is that it's only available for people who are losing so you're in conquest and your team is losing you might hear a random message say the enemy team has got a blimp on the way and you're like how the fuck they get that you notice that whenever a team is losing they'll normally get that message and then boom you see a blimp a train or a dreadnought and they are pretty awesome now the downside to the blimp is that it's slow, it's clunky, and it's hard to maneuver. And not everyone on there will have the great visibility of actually getting a kill or defending an actual vehicle. Like right now, I'm being a dick, yes, I am being a dick, and I'm focusing on making sure that B is defended appropriately with mortar fire. Just leaving craters, killing anything, vehicles, stationary weapons, boom, the whole nine yards. That means that I'm not also making sure that my other teammates who are on the blimp can get a clear cover fire to shoot down to the ground, shoot any enemy vehicles that are flying around, or anything else that's shooting at me. It, it's kind of a dick thing, because if, if you're the pilot, you can just easily control this fucker and just be like, mortar, 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 mortar. We have taken objective now, let's talk about one other thing. Teamwork. Now, I've been noticing a lot of people have been favoring the Assault class, and the Assault class is by far the closest thing we will get from the Medic class from Battlefield 4. It's heavy weapons, it's maneuverability, and it comes with highest rounds per minute weapons and shotguns. I don't know why, but everyone in their goddamn mom is just playing either two classes, the Assault and the Scout. Granted, we had this problem in Battlefield 4, Everyone and their mom wanted to fucking snipe. And would you normally win the match? Not really. It would uh, come with a lot of losing. Because no one's actually supporting the team the proper way. Now, in most matches, you will see people as medics and support. Which is great. Good. They're playing the objective and actually supporting the team. But you just see people just going around shooting and killing and not trying to cap the objective. It's like, ooh, wait. I need to defend A. But I saw a guy run that way. Let me go and uh, kill him. And maybe see if I can still capture or defend that objective. And that's a problem I've been seeing. It, it, it's just annoying when you're like, oh god, we're on a good streak. Next thing your team starts derping, like, kill, 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 kill. It's like, oh my god. Let me, uh, let me see if I can put this game together. And with the whole thing about killings becoming a major part of the score system, it it's still downright annoying. Now as for the blimp, 
It's just fucking awesome, kids. Remember, blimps are awesome. It's like a giant black dick. Just going around shooting down explosive sperm. Just boom, boom. Yeah, baby. That sperm. Now, that's it for today's video, guys. As always, hey, you like this video? I mean, if you do, hey, just leave that like button. If not, I mean, you can always hit that dislike. Let me know. And always subscribe. I'm going to leave you guys a little bit tip more uh, gameplay. But let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. Do you think the blimp is overpowered? Do you think people need to focus more on teamwork and capturing the objective and playing the objective? Or do you think, honestly, the game is fine where everyone's just going around being dumbasses? As always, guys, y'all stay weird.